Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make a full backup of your Joomla website. First, you'll need to download the extension needed to make this backup. So just on this tutorial page, just scroll down and you'll see that it says here the extension needed for this is located here. So all you need to do is click this link. If you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a link in the description to this page so you can find this link. Okay, so this will link directly to the page for this extension. Now it's called Akiba Backup, and we just want to download it. You can read through the description if you want, and then also read some reviews, but it's a very good extension. Extension, It's free, and it makes a full backup of your Joomla website. So we're just going to download it. Okay, so now we want the Akiba Backup, and we want to view releases in this category. So this category is the key back up. So just click this button here. The latest one is actually this one here, but the latest stable one is this one here. So you can, if you want to get the newest one that's a release candidate, or when you're looking at this page, it'll probably be different because they constantly bring out new releases, but I'm just going to download the stable one, which means, stable means it's been tested and it's the official release and they, it's got the like, the least errors with it. So just click view files for the stable one. Okay, so we need the backup core. You can get the module, which you won't need. So that's all we really need to get here is the core. And there's also documentation in PDF if you want help using it. So I'm just gonna download the Akiba backup core. Click download here. So save this file. So now we come into Joomla, which is yoursite.com followed by forward slash administrator. Log in. Once you've logged in from this page, go to extensions and you want to install, uninstall. So just click that. And now we want to upload a package file. So now click browse and then find on your computer where you downloaded that Akiba um, package file to. So mine's just here, which is com Akiba 3.0 core. Yours would probably be a different version, I don't know. Um, so just select the file and then click open. And now click upload, file and install. So this will upload Akiba to your Joomla site for you and install it. This may take a moment depending on the speed of your internet. Okay, so you'll get an install component success once that's done and then a small description here. So basically all you need to know now is a keyba is a component, so it'll be under the components here, and you can see it's the first one here. So now it's installed, we can perform our full website backup. So you click on a keyba backup, and then now you can, you can backup now or go to configuration. I'm just gonna to go to configuration for now to show you some of the settings. So in the configuration here, you can see there's the output directory, so you can change where the backed up files for your whole Joomla site are stored. And there's the temporary directory. Now usually I just leave all this set to default, but if you want to change some settings, you can change them through here. So now if I just go to backup now here, or you can go to component backup now. Okay, so here is the settings for the backup. You can put in comments for this backup, but there's a short description here which just says the date and time when the backup was made. But if you want to put in additional comments, put them in here, and then just select backup now. And you'll see it's going through that here. Depending on the size of your site, backup shouldn't actually take that long. They should be pretty quick. But don't change this page until the backup's complete. Okay, so now backup completed successfully. You can click administer backup files here, but there's also another link to that in the components section, which you can't click yet. So I'll just click this button here. Now this will be a list of all the backups you've made and you can download them from this page. You can also get to this page from components, Akiva backup, and then the administer backup files. So once you've made a backup, it's a good idea to download it. So just tick the box beside the backup you wanna download. And at the moment, there's only one, so that's not a hard choice. It says the size of the file there. 
and then just click download and then you can download that file. So that's how you make a full backup of your Joomla website. So make a backup regularly and also download them often so that you've got them stored to your computer as well, not just your website.